Niche selection is one of the hardest parts about starting a creator business, but it doesn't have to be. It feels daunting because it shapes literally everything that you do, from the content you create, the products you promote, and what your day-to-day -day work life looks like. But I'm here to show you that you're probably overthinking it, and instead, I'm going to show you an entirely new way to approach choosing your niche by not choosing one at all. That's right. Instead of choosing a niche, in today's marketplace, I recommend choosing a person you want to target instead, allowing you to create content about all the core topics that are valuable to them. This leads to a bigger audience that becomes raving fans of yours, with more opportunities to connect, and more products you can sell them. I cannot understate how powerful this shift is, and I'm excited to talk more about it in just a moment. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is James McAllister, and I've been running creator businesses for 14 years now. My first blog was in the tech market, which failed, and then I had my first successful site. This was back when blogging was all the rage, and it was about iPhones, so a sub-niche of tech. Later, I branched out and started content businesses in the cryptocurrency niche way back before it was popular in my head. Insomnia, goalkeeping, music production, and parenting, where I built an e-commerce brand that did tens of millions in sales. Let me just tell you firsthand, I know how frustrating niche selection can be. Over the last 14 years, however, online business has changed a lot. The way people consume content has changed a lot, as has the way platforms like social media or YouTube push content out to people. Niche selection matters more than ever in some ways, because there are so many creators, and you need to really make sure that all of your content appeals to a specific person. However, it matters less than ever in other ways, because these days, people are looking to follow other people rather than just consume content. They are looking for creators like you to align themselves with, to learn from, to grow to trust and guide them. We are bombarded with so much information, people want a trusted authority figure to tell them what to think, to weed through the noise, and in some ways, curate information for them. But this doesn't just extend to one topic you're talking about, what you might have previously thought of as your niche. It extends to everything relevant to them. Let's look at an example. Let's say that you want to teach people how to play guitar. That's awesome. This is a huge niche and honestly, when you're just starting out, you may find it useful to get even more niche than that, for example, playing guitar in a certain style. But playing guitar isn't the only thing this audience probably cares about. Chances are, a good chunk of these people are also interested in things like recording, songwriting, performing on stage, starting a band, producing an album, marketing if they do live shows, mixing or mastering, and a whole lot more. The thing is, each one of these could be their own niche. But producing content on these topics would still be both relevant and valuable to someone learning guitar, especially once they've gone beyond the beginner stage. I love helping people create what I call lifestyle businesses. Businesses that fit into your lifestyle, about things you care about. As a musician myself that is interested not just in guitar, but also recording, songwriting, post-production, and so on, getting to learn and teach all of those topics sounds a lot more fun. These are topics that one person would be interested in. But when you go broad with topics like this, how do you niche down and really connect with an audience? How do you stand out? Well, instead of niching down on the topics, niche down on the type of person you want to serve. For example, maybe instead of teaching how to play rock music on guitar, you teach rock music to people with arthritis, or people who are learning guitar to pick up girls. I can tell you the way you approach everything, from your content to your market messaging, is completely different when you're trying to appeal to someone who is trying to pick up girls, for example, versus an older married man who is just playing for the love of music. The way you talk to these people is completely different, even if they are still interested in the same underlying topics. With this channel here, I focus on people who are busy, a lot of my clients are parents, or people who work demanding jobs and are desperate to quit, but only have a couple hours a day to work on their business. I myself value family above everything else, so I share stories about that instead of, I don't know, like hyping you up to become a billionaire with supercars and fancy parties. In fact, I'm very upfront about the fact that the business model I teach won't make you a billionaire, but it can get you to 10 or 25 or 50k a month, while still being able to enjoy everything else life has to offer. If you do want to learn the exact strategy I recommend to creators, sign up for my free workshop at jamesmccallisteronline.com forward slash workshop and I'll send you a link to it. Anyway, again, you aren't limited to a single niche as long as you're still serving the same underlying person. As long as your content is still interesting to the majority of your audience, you can't go wrong even if you do decide to branch out. The cool thing about this is it makes everything much more authentic. You get to create content about the very stuff you're interested in or what you're doing. They say the best person to teach is the past version of yourself, and hey, you're a person, why not serve people who are just like you? Pick a niche, list out all the other sub-niches or related niches they might be interested in, and get going. If you have any questions at all about niche selection, go ahead and ask them down below. Otherwise, be sure to check out this video over here. 
Thanks for watching and talk again soon.